Everything fades through time I'm lost for words Endlessly waiting for you Stay with me Yes, I know this can't be A small thing Say goodbye to you and I'm done Through the sun What? Because I'm waiting for you Waiting for this dream to come true Just to be with you And if I die Remember these lines I'm always here Starting in life I am yours And I'm completely trapped in your soul Dazed and confused Swept away Guys, you're tuned in to another Rappler Live Jam. My name is Amanda, and that song you just heard was Synesthesia oh. by the iconic <laughs> OPM band Mayonnaise. Hi! Hi. Welcome Hi. back to Rappler. Hi. It's great to have you guys here again. Yeah, third time. Yes. Wow, third time's a charm. So that <laughs> song you just played, this is from your 2010 album, Pula. So, meron ba kayong special, like, special memories with this particular song? Uh, actually, the except for Jopai, our set for today's episode, parang hindi namin inexpect na parang malalaman ng tao. Because when when we were doing our, uh, when we were when we were touring the second album back in 2006, nasulat ko na to. Oh. Tapos parang if naalala nyo pa yung Multiply. <laughs> yes. So nag-upload lang ako sa Multiply ng demo noon. And then, five years after, bigla na lang nasa parang YouTube na fan-made, ano, tas nag-million like views, ganyan sa pag-go, what? Wow. So, so you, parang, okay, so we should like... Release it. Oh, yeah. hindi, hindi nga eh, parang sige, record na natin ulit. Mm -hmm. So, that's why after the second album, parang one more album, and then before lang siya nalabas. 
sa fourth album pa siya nalabas. Yeah. No expectations, so sabi lang sobrang ano, sumikat sa mga tao na gusto nila. And yun yun, yun nga yung magic talaga ng, ng music, I guess. Like, just do something and be like sincere with it. Uh, pag walang pretend, pag pretentiousness, parang nung ginawa namin yung kantang yun, ginawa ko yung awitin na yun, parang gusto ko lang siyang gawin. Mm. And eventually, people uh, w- w- liked it. So, parang yun natin yung magic namin eh. Mm. Kaya nandito pa rin kami. You just do what you love and... Yeah, yeah, oo. Dati kasi, parang wala naman talagang, like, wala naman statistics or analytics, ganyan, ganyan. Parang we just go out and play, regardless if it's a big gig or a bar gig or a garage gig, yung mga bahay-bahay. So, yung mga tinutugtog namin, usually sa mga gigs namin, hindi namin iniisipan ng set list. Mm. Gusto lang namin tugtugin. Kung may bago kami nagawang kanta, gusto lang namin tugtugin. Mm. Kasi parang we just wanna break the mold na parang there's a formula, ganyan ganyan. There's mm. no formula. Lagi lang the opportunity to be in a very, I mean, parang maraming, maraming luck na pwedeng mangyari. Parang ganyan. Mm. So I guess that's been working for you because you guys have been around for two decades now and you celebrated your 20th anniversary with a concert nung May. Yeah. So did when you first started out did you have did you did you imagine that you'd get to this point? Not at all kasi nung 2022 it was it was a weird year. Mm. Elections and everything tapos wala pang gigs tapos biglang may gig dahil nag rally. So so syempre parang na miss mo nakaka-miss to ah. Mm. Tapos, nung tail end of the year, na-realize lang namin, oh, nga pala, anniversary namin, 20 years na pala kami. We should do something. Mm. So, nag-mall gig kami. Nag-mall tour. So, ang daming tao. So, sab- sabi ko, bakit? Yung pala, we didn't know that Jopay was blowing up sa TikTok na nung time na yun. Yes. <laughs> so, yun nga, di mo, kaya nung nag-uusap-usap kami, parang nakakaya naman kung ito lang yung anniversary namin. Uh-huh. <laughs> parang gawa tayo ng like a big show. For all of our supporters, for all the new supporters yeah. of the song Jopay and also the band. So, parang, nung nakita lang na namin yung tao nung QC Circle, parang, oh, bakit? Ang daming tao. Mm-hmm. Nakakatawa. Siyempre, yung mga bashers sasabihin, na isang kanta lang naman, alam nyo, ganyan. Pero alam mo, to be honest, kahit isang kanta lang yun, for those people to line up and mapawisan, mainitan, mahasel sa... Uh, yun, gets mo sa situation. Andun sila for that song. Yeah. So, sobrang thankful lang ako, ha, personally. Sobrang, wow. So, minsan kahit di mo masyado niisip, dumarating na lang bigla yung mag- magagandang bagay. Mm-mm. So, sobrang sumakto nung resurgence of Jopay with your 20th anniversary. Oh, yeah. So, was it that plus yung rally? Was that, was that Were these the things that brought you back to the music scene? Part of it, yeah. Oh, siguro plus hindi siya nagbubuhat ng sarili bangko, pero siguro dahil mas ipag kami. Even during mm-hmm. the pandemic, medyo, we always keep in touch. Online, nag, nag-stream kami online, kanya-kanyang bahay. Mm-hmm. And then, nung nag-ease up, medyo pwede na magkita. Doon na sa studio ni Monty. Mm-hmm. Uh, every week, we make sure na um, we rehearse, we play. Uh, wow. Play live for the followers. Kasi, everybody was bored during the pandemic. Eh. So, yeah. And plus, yun nga, yung mga maraming nalulungkot, depression and all. So, parang gusto lang namin tumulong, in a way. You know, even play for them for one hour, laking bagay na. Mm-hmm. You get feedback from that na laking tulong, na napasaya namin sila kahit one hour. Mm-hmm. Malaking bagay rin sa amin yan. Yeah. So, yun nga. Nakapag- yeah, I think guess that's what kept us relevant. Yeah. And I mean, you guys never really went away because you released an album pa nung, tw- yeah, yeah, yeah. nung pandemic. Oh. So, Kasi, yung treatment talaga namin sa ginagawa namin, trabaho talaga. Okay. Kung baga, yes, we are friends, yes, we hang out. Uh, pagtapos ng shows or going to gigs, kapag nag-travel, syempre nandun yung kulitan. We play video games, mobile games, so we eat a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alata naman yun. <laughs> Pero at the end of the day, we're very, alam yun, sync na this is our job. So yeah. even during the pandemic, Parang I wanted sana na uh, we should do something at least once a week. Yeah. Para, para if ever lang na may mga fans na ano yun, parang sobrang lugmok na and ma-look forward sila like, like a week, uh, in a week para uy, may lalabas sila. So, 
Meron silang cover every Thursday, something like that. Yeah. That's so, nice. kasi laking bagay rin na nawala kami ng gig. So, we miss the fans so much. And I'm sure they miss us also. So, parang, kung tinrato namin lang na parang, ano, parang hobby lang siya or something. Wala na siguro to kasi wala na, ano eh. Hindi naman namin sinawalan to na para mabayaran kami. Mm. So, nung nababayaran na kami, seryosoy na namin. So, seryoso uh-huh. rin yung servisyo namin sa mga supporters sa fans namin. Nice. And I guess that's a secret to making it 20 years. Yes, so huwag nating pagkalat. Ha? <laughs> secret lang namin yun. <laughs> so your next song for us is also from Pula. Yeah. Um, this one is called Kapag Lasing Malambing. Yes. Before you get into it, may story ba? Like what's a um, fun fact about the song na madadivulge nyo dito? Yeah. Gaya nga nung Synesthesia and Chopay. Sige, sabihin na rin Chopay na rin. Matagal na namin nilabas yung kanta, 2010 pa lang. Pero I think it was like four, se- ay, six years ago, seven years ago. Bigla na lang siyang, ano, kasi nauso yung si Roger Rocker. para nauso siya na, sa, sa mga vlogs niya ata. Nag-aabit yung kapag lasing malambing. Mm. And yun nga, syempre, ano naman eh, alam na natin yun, ang Pilipino, mahilig talaga uminom. <laughs> so ngayon nga, kaya nga nagagamit ko yung kay Mami Oni na <laughs> ako'y tahimik lang sa umpisa. Sir, ginagamit ko siya kapag uh, sa mga live shows namin. So gets, parang, Hindi namin pinag-isipan, hindi nabas namin noon. Tapos, syempre, para sa mga ibang tao, flop yan, ganyan. Pero bakit biglang naging uso? Gets, Years parang, later. So, pag tinitingnan ko yung Spotify namin, part siya ng mga top songs na naging streams ko yun. Siguro, pinaka-fun fact dito, Rappler, yung kantang to ay tukul sa isang artista. Yeah. No, Sino? Isang art- <laughs> di ko pwede pagsabi kasi friend ko siya eh. So, pag, pag, pag nalaman niya, baka i-block niya ako sa IG. So, palagi kami magkasama. Artista siya. na nagbabanda din. Tapos, nakakasama ko palagi. Tapos, pag lasing na siya, lagi niya ako pinapabili ng hotdog. <laughs> Tapos, kinabukasan, hindi na niya ako kinakausap. <gasps> so, yun. Wow. Ka- alam mo yun, ikaw yun. <laughs> Kilala niya na siya yun. Yeah. Shout out lang. Sa <laughs> so, unnamed artista. All Shout right. out. Shout out. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hear the song. This is Mayonnaise with Kapag Lasing Malambi. Meron akong sasabihin Makinig kayong lahat Importante lang malaman Yung sikreto nilang lahat Sila ay pare-pareho Sinong may pakana Magugulan ka na lang Bigla na lang nadadaba Ngayon, bukas na naman Ang iyong kaluluwa Lasing ka ng malambing Huwag lumapit sa'kin Natatakot na akong maibig oh, 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 oh. Meron akong kilala Napakaganda ng pinag Lalapit siya sa'yo Bigla na lang mawawala Para bang may mga disipulo O kaya mga alagahan Ang dami-dami nyo Hindi kayo nawawala Ngayon, bukas na naman Ang iyong kaluluwa Paglasing Doon ka lang malambing Huwag lumapit sa'kin Nagtatakot na ako Paglasing Doon ka lang malambing Huwag lumapit sa'kin Nagtatakot na ako Oh, 
Just tuning in, that was Mayonnaise with their second song for the night, Kapag Lasing Malambing. And if you're watching, please tweet with the hashtag Mayonnaise Live Jam. And, you know, we may be able to read some of your questions or comments. Who knows? <laughs> so, you guys um, have been around for 20 years. We've been talking about that. But let's look back at yung time na yung una kayong sumikat was which was in the 2000s i mean as a listener i remember na it was a very good time for opm yeah. so ano yung pinaka na miss nyo about that era uh yung i don't know how to explain it pero parang manual discovering of things yes <laughs> hindi yung parang pinifeed sa yo guys ba tama like diba, with spotify is like new music friday every friday new yeah. music parang back then You'll never know kung kailan makakaroon ng new music. Tama. Parang, you turn on the radio, hopefully, may madiscover kang bagong thing. And then when you open the, the TV, parang, that new thing on radio is now blowing it up on TV. Parang yeah. ganon. Yun yung lang yung namimiss ko nun. It was Pero syempre, a syempre, you have to, ano yun, parang adapt. Uh, syempre, change is inevitable. So, yun. Pero syempre, nakakamiss talaga yung ano, yung... Nung pagbata ka, parang talagang excited ka lang talaga din makadiscover ng mga bagong anta. Ako ngayon, wala ko pinapakinggan ng pinapakinggan ng banda ngayon. Parang shanty dope pinapakinggan ko yun. <laughs> <laughs> parang ganun. Tama. So, now, like, obviously, it's a very different time. May Spotify na, like you said, like, there's the algorithm feeding everyone everything. So, like, kayo, this has this affected the way you make your music? Siguro, for me, Uh, ginagamit ko siyang ano, parang yung mga lumang, like, like the old bands that I listen to, like my day ones, like Nirvana, Eraserheads, River Maya, Foo Fighters, sila pa rin yung peg. Sila yung the reason why I'm doing this and writing music. Pero yung the newer artists, local man yan foreign, Ginagamit ko silang instrument or tool para to improve my songwriting. Mm -hmm. So, kaya may narinig ako na, uh, kaya rin, K-pop. Uh, yan yung naging, parang doon ako nag-deep dive nung pandemic. So, I was into K-pop nung pandemic and then nakita ko like strategies, mm -hmm. how they promote themselves, how they carry themselves. Yeah. So, yun. Tapos, adapt mo yun sa so kung paano kami. And then, parang mas ano siya, parang... Limited naman, limited naman ng notes or chords. Kasi like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Mas may sharp, may flat. Pero, maraming pwede augmentations, maraming mm -hmm. ways para malaro siya. Kahit you keep on doing the same chord progression. Pero the, because of listening with yung mga new artists na mga lumalabas, parang, oy, pwede pala yun. Mm. Let's try to adapt that. So parang ganun. So parang with, with so many new artists coming out, parang mas nafe-feed yung... Yung music nyo, in a way. Yeah, somehow, ano, parang, pero syempre, I still, parang filter out yung mga bagay na parang medyo repetitive na. Pero, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, na-appreciate ko lagi art. Hindi lang, like, linear. Hindi lang siya, kung ano lang yung pinigay sa'yo. More of parang, like, deep dive ka, like, what do the new bands listen to? Mm. Sino ba yung mga paborito nilang artists? Baka may mapulot kami doon. And at the same time, parang when we're talking about local, I love watching local bands kasi pinapanood ko sila how they carry themselves, how they play their sets. So, 
parang kahit na matanda na kami, parang gusto ko parang matuto sa mga younger generation mm. of artists na parang, and it doesn't have to be rock bands, I mean, even like hip-hop artists or pop singers, parang may matututunan ka palagi. Tama. So, it's, it's, uh, we just love music, yun lang yun. at the end of the day, yeah. music is music. So since you mentioned K-pop, ang uh, madaming K-pop stands dito sa Rappler Newsroom. Sino ang ano, sino ang groups ang pinapakinggan niyo? Ako Blackpink, New Jeans. <laughs> Ay, ako naman lahat halos, pero yeah. ano siguro dahil ako oh, masarap talaga makinig ng bago eh. Yun yung maganda sa K-pop para every week. Yeah. May nagka-comeback, may mga nag ano. Ako Blackpink number one ko na sa female groups, pero I listen to all of them. Yeah. Did New you Jeans, watch them twice? In concert. Uh, ano na? <laughs> Nanood ka ba ng yeah, Blackpink? Yeah, yeah, day one. Day one. Wow. Na ano pa nga ako, napagalitan pa ako kasi nakapasok ako sa yung may sound check. Oh. So, nilive ko. Tapos, putik, parang 50,000 yung nanonood. Bawal pala yun. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> na ano yung Instagram ko parang na, na lock ng saglit. Oh, no. So, pero sobrang sulit. I mean, kasi pag na, nung... Sa so sound check kasi para naka-dress down lang sila eh. Parang normal lang na mukha silang normal na tao eh. Mm. Pag, nung, nung actual set na sila talaga, ang bongga na yung mga, mga design nila, mga costume nila. So sobrang fun. Kasi parang alam mo yun, hindi mo siya thing eh. Hindi, ka na, hindi naman banda eh. Pero pag inisip mo, yung kinakanta nila, banda yung tumutugtog. Tama. Sobrang galing ng banda. So parang, oh, wow. I mean, I love music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Galing. Iba pala yung nanonotice pag ano ka, pag musician ka talaga, oh, nanonood ng ano, K-pop. Lahat ng mga kasama ko, naka, dun sa marampa, nakatingin sa mga babae. Ako nandun sa dulo ako eh. Sa barikada ako, sa ako yung banda. Ang galing. <laughs> nice. Tapos meron yung kanang mata na kay Rose. Marun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, aside from the the scene, the industry changing, I mean, obviously, kayo din, like, you guys have changed. Yeah. Siyempre. A lot. A lot of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, meron bang, I mean, the lineup itself has changed. So, meron bang, like, how has this changed your music? Like, what you write about? Oh, yeah. Uh, every time na nagkakaroon ng member change, ay, syempre, nag-iba yung live performance din. So, nag adjust din kami, depending on the skill set of the, of the person. So, masasabi na kami <laughs> na nag adjust kami sa mga bagong, ano. Yes. <laughs> Ba't kayo natatawa? <laughs> eh, kasi siya yung uh, rappler, si Carlo, yung pinaka-useless member namin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carlo, explain yourself. Yeah, biro lang. Explain mo sarili mo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> masarap, masarap mag-banda talaga kasi pwede mo gawin yung gusto. Yung gusto mo. Hindi, <laughs> 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 pero, I mean... Okay. Ayan, na, na-witness nyo na. <laughs> uh, at least na-witness nyo kung gaano ka-useless yung sinabi. <laughs> Yeah, pero ano, I mean, every member, regardless if past and the current, lagi naman may ambag. So, and we're always thankful. Kami ni Shana lang natin sa original lineup. We're always thankful for the time na naibibigay sa amin. At the end of the day, kasi mas pipiliin namin na hindi lang kami magkatrabaho. I mean, kaibigan kami. Kung hindi na, hindi na pasok sa needs ng isang tao yung pagbabana na to, Okay lang yun. I mean, time will always, I mean, life will always get in the way. Gets. So, your next song for us, this is a mashup yeah. of your newest song, yeah. 143, and an unreleased, yeah, yeah. tama ba? Unreleased song. So, first on Rappler. Yeah. This, can I, can I, can yeah. I make kwento about that yes. later na? Kwento mo na. Go. <laughs> you make kwento na. Like, like now na, Monty. <laughs> now na. At the funny thing about music kasi, uh, nagkaroon ako ng siguro after the pandemic, hindi naman after, di, di ko sure kung tapos na tapos na tapos na eh. Pero basta nung tail end ng 2022, parang nahihirapan ako magsulat ng kanta. Kasi yun nga yung sumisikit na yung Jopay. Mm-hmm. So parang lagi ako na, uh, ano, na parang na the dead end. Parang ideas ko na nauubos. So there there's this band called Night Over Alaska. One of our... Uh, artists sa Yellow Room Music, our label. Mm. So, meron silang kanta na One for Three. Tapos nung pinahing ako, sabi ko, it's such a beautiful song. Sabi ko, nagbook ako sa friend ko si Nick ng Line In Records ng studio. Sabi ko, ng studio time. Nagbook lang ako sa kanya. Sabi ko, Nick, record ako. Sabi ko, sure. Well, what are you gonna record? Sabi ko, actually, it's a, it's a cover song. Tapos, <laughs> dude! <laughs> Tapos, ano, punta ako sa studio by myself. Nagtrack ako ng guitars, drums, bass, tapos kinantahan ko. 
Tapos, I really didn't know what to do with it kasi parang ano. Pero because of that session, mm. of that recording session, parang yun na yung nagkatapult dun sa, yung naging catalyst sa the new songs that we're playing right now. Biglang after Ooh. that, nakasulat na kami ng tatlong bagong kanta. Ah, uh, yun yung nag-unblock. Oo. Mm. So, sinan ko lang sa Sony yung kanta, Our Distributor. Tapos, eto na, nagpo-promo kami for it. Na sobrang, yun nga, again, hindi siya planado. It's just an, kumaga parang aksidente lang and then we're promoting it. That's why we haven't rehearsed that song, yung One for Three. Oh. Ever. I mean, tinugtog lang namin nung isa pang guesting, pero like a snippet lang. So siguro yun yung, that's how we are talaga. Okay. Like, we don't wanna do it like how other people do it. No no offense, pero it's just how we are. Hmm. I mean, if we wanna put out a single na sobrang bongga, pinag-isipan, na sobrang matching music video and ganyan, ganyan, so be it. Pero that song was just for us to be able to do something while we were in Canada. Yun nga pala, linabas namin yun when we were in Canada. Oh, okay. So, yun yung magic ng music where you can do a lot of things and opportunity will just, alam yun, bigla na lang nandyan. Yeah. So that's why the, the medley is another unreleased song and hopefully we get to release it soon. That's our goal for 2024, a brand new album. Right. A brand new, really nice Exciting. album. Exciting. 2024. Yeah. Yes, uh, first quarter. Siguro mga... First quarter. Huwag <laughs> natin bigyan ng date kasi baka ma-jinx. Yeah. But for now, let's hear the this song or one this mashup, three. 143 and anything. anything. Walking down the road Your hands are holding mine Stories that once told Our histories divide But take me as you are You'll take me as I am Love got us this far Our love will never end Take me Take me now into your arms, I promise everything will be all right. Take me, take me now into your arms. To, and please never let go Every time I wait for you I'm hoping that you'll know And every day I come to you You always disappear I am always sorry for Everything my dear Cause I can make you stay I can do everything Come back to me, please come back to me. I will do everything, I will do anything. Please come back to me, please come back to me. All on I thought it was the best for you and me. Don't you worry, I'm okay, and I won't make a scene. Please do understand, I'm trying, so thanks for everything. Cause I can't make you stay. I will do everything, I can do anything. Please come back to me, please come back to me. I will do everything. I will do anything Please come back to me Please come back to me Cause I Alone All the time I'm so alone All the time And I know You're gone
Just tuning in, that was Mayonnaise with a mashup of their songs, 143 and Anything, yeah. na coming soon. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Part of uh, an album. New album, yeah. In, coming in 2024. Yeah, sorry, uh kami Gen Z. We don't do singles. Joke, yeah. joke lang. Joke lang. <laughs> so, lang. yeah, if you guys are watching, again, tweet us with hashtag Mayonnaise Live Jam. Kung may tanong kayo. Um, like si Billy Jason Castillo from oh. Facebook ay may tanong. Yeah. <laughs> Kilala niyo ba siya? Yeah. Okay. Yes, he's part Friend of, of the, the band. Mayonation. So, ang tanong niya ay for Carlo, anong model <laughs> ng I, I'm assuming is your guitar. Anong model ng Duesenberg ang gamit ng Duesenberg. Ngayon? Ha? Paloma. Anong paano i-pronounce in Duesenberg? Duesenberg. Duesenberg. Yeah. Duesenberg. So it's <laughs> and bird. Dalawa kasi yun ni. Si Duse at si Bird. Yes. So Paloma, that's yes. the, that's the model. Anyway, so <laughs> so you guys have been playing a lot of your well, a couple of your old songs and some new songs for us tonight. I'm curious lang when you guys listen to your older songs, especially Jopay. Um ano yung na-feel nyo? like may point ba ever na parang ah, oh, ito na naman or like Ako, personally, uh, the best thing about recordings is that it takes you from the moment that you yung, yung nasa studio ka. So I always remember I mean, Sean being in the studio back in 2003 and, uh, sorry, 2004. Ginagawa namin yun with no expectation. Yung song na yun talaga nagpapapansin na ako kay Jopay. Even our management back in the day didn't really rate that song as a strong single. Parang iniisip nila bakit part two yung magiging like big hit. Mm -hmm. That's why nung nilabas namin yung song, sobrang blown away kami doon sa nangyari. That's why when I, whenever I, lagi namin napapahingan eh, pupunta kami sa isang restaurant, papatugtugin eh. Akala kasi ng tao, natutuwa kami ng ganun eh. <laughs> <laughs> totoo ba? Like pag nakita nila kayo? Pa yun, sa totoo lang, sa totoo lang, kebs naman ako. Honestly speaking, wala akong, hindi ako entitled enough na mag, hey, don't play our song. At the end of the day, we appreciate it na natutuwa sila, kinikilig sila. Pero nakakatawa lang kasi pagpasok lang, dun dun dun. <laughs> Pag preglabas mo, Ben and Ben na. Para so, kayo may entrance music. So, ano lang, parang nakakatuwa nang. Pag naririnig ko nga, parang naalala ko yung dati kung gaano kami, nung saan kami nagaling, saan kami nang galing, nasa na kami ngayon, tsaka yung <laughs> pagkatotoy ng mga boses namin, ang late ng snare ni Sean noon. Pang! Pang! <laughs> so, yun. Ako personally, na bumabalik ako dun sa moment na Nung wala pang nangyayari, nakakatuwa lang na ang layo na nang inabot ng kantang yun. Umabot kami ng dulo ng Mindanao. Mm -hmm. And yun nga, nag-viral siya recently. Inexpect nyo ba yun nung nagbablow up siya sa TikTok? Hindi. Like Parang nire-report lang siya sa amin ng ano namin sa Yellow Room, sa YR staff. Siyempre, pag nang meetings kami, parang uh, may analytics na parang, oh, sobrang nagbablow up sa TikTok yung job. Ay, parang hindi ko pinapansin. Lagi namang may walang kwentang bagay na tumaano dun eh. Mm -hmm. Sagulot na lang ako na yung mga nagti-tiktok ng kanta, pumupunta na sa shows. Doon ako tawang-tawa. Oh. Yung mga bata na nagti-tiktok ng kanta, inaaral na siya sa gitara. Which, yun yung layunin ko. Kasi nung bata ako, nung napapanood ko si Kurt Cobain yung nagigitara sa TV, gusto ko niya na. Panood ko si Ellie, gusto ko niya na. Si Rico, gusto ko niya na. So yun lang naman yung takeaway ko. Nung nag-viral na yung Jopay, Siyempre, thanks rin sa ngayon kaya yung movie na ngayon kaya. Kasi kung hindi rin dahil doon, baka hindi rin lumaki na yung kanta. 
thankful lang ako kasi parang meron kaming chance na makaambag dun sa mga kabataan ngayon na matuto, pick up a guitar, play the guitar, an actual guitar, not, not like, like a mm. fake online thing. Talagang gitara. Mm. And it's so nice to be able to do that. And to be, to be part of this generation of musicians na being able to connect with the younger generation. Mm. Curious lang ako, si Jopay ba ever ay nag-react to the oh, song? Nung Lucena kasama namin siya sa... Oh. Sa show, oh, lumabas, one of the... Oh my God, iconic. Oh, one of the last uh, Mayo 20 gigs sa Lucena, uh, before kami nag-jopay, lumakit siya sa stage, uh, sumayaw siya. Actually, bago nga sa Mayo 20, yung QC Circle, gusto nga niya sanang mag, ano rin, mag, uh, maging part ng anniversary, pero schedule kasi di, galing kami ng Canada, so pressed for time, wala ng oras mag-rehearse. So, sobrang nakakatawa lang na... Naging ganto ko lang yung kanta. Tapos tuwang tawa rin ako kasi dahil din sa kanta, si, si La Jopay, parang pati family niya, parang marami rin na, na-achieve. Sobrang, mm. sobrang happy ko. Bilang isang may crush sa kanya ng bata, yun yung naiambag ko sa buhay niya. Parang, Oo nga, ang the saya impact. Ko. Parang, hi. Sabi <laughs> 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 ko, ay, ba't ako iniwan? <laughs> Ooh. Pero grabe, grabe yung impact. For, pati si Jopay naging icon. Well, I know, <laughs> I know, right? Um, meron tayong comment from Facebook from Benok Felonia. Oh, wow. Kilala niyo rin to. Oh, oh. Friend oh, of lumang, the band. Lumang tao na yan. <laughs> Tagal na namin tinikita yan. <laughs> Sabi lang niya, lupit po nga ng, lupit po nga mga banda sa unknown bar kagabi. Mm. Ah, oo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, kaya ng 647 Quattro Cantos pati Night over last ka kasabay namin kasi kagabi. Mga Yellow Room artists siya. Shoutout kay Benok. Layla din, Layla. Shoutout kay Benok, sana sagutin ka ni Almira. Yun. Oo. Benok Filonia, sana sagutin ka ni Almira Kabal. Yun na. <laughs> Sigreto lang din yun eh. <laughs> Kabal, Kabal Sigretong malupit. <laughs> so we have a few more comments good, good. from Facebook. Sabi ni Jessica Marie Borromeo. Ganda ng song. Hindi ko alam ko anong song yung oh, tinutukoy niya. Thank you. Uh, yung 143 pala. Well, thank you. Okay, ganda thank daw you. na song. So, it's coming coming oh. out soon. Yeah. Alamat. And si, sabi ni Doel Credo Alcazar from FB, Sir Nikki Tiro na nakakilig baseline mo. Heart emoji. Thank yes. you. Yes. Kinilig siya. Kinilig din ako eh. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ni Ralph Domingo from Facebook, Ooh, watching from North Cotabato. Wow, Naka- we love North Cotabato. Nakatugtog na kayo dun. Midsaya pata. Yes. So. Yes. Wow. You guys have been everywhere. Yes. Meron kami napuntahan, di namin alam na, na merong lugar doon. Kasi from the, the ano yun, dulo ng Quezon, oh, from Atimon ng Quezon, magro-roro ka pa, papunta sa island. Oh. Sumugtog kami. Kala nyo lahat ng... Alabat. Yes, yeah, so, wow. we love it. Alabat. Galing. So, eto, may tanong, tanong naman to. From Jerick Aquino on Facebook. What can you say about 90s band noon, OPM Pinoy Alternative Day? The best. I mean, the best. Kung the wala best sila. Yun. Kung wala yung mga nauna sa amin, hindi siguro kami nandito ngayon kasi sila yung mga naging influensya namin, pati yung in namin. Sana maging ganyan rin kami. Mas na-realize ko, kailangan ko magpapayat. Joke. <laughs> Tama. So, um, Kenneth Melendres from Facebook is asking... May plans ba for a tour, mga idol? Yes, next year, paglabas ng album. Definitely Sakto. a tour. Siguro mga... Sa Mindanao lang. <laughs> Babalik kayo dun sa island. Yeah, we will. Tsaka sa Quezon. Yes. So, speaking of future plans, now that you've hit a milestone 20 years, what's next for you? Aside from the album, aside from the tour? Eh, hey, wala. It was just... Wala. <laughs> joke Yun lang. Lang. <laughs> joke lang. Joke lang. Joke lang. It ends there. <laughs> ano, ano lang. Yung, we're taking it one day at a time. Ano lang. Basta, we're trying to write more songs. Songs that we enjoy playing live. Kasi usually, but when we when we write albums, parang dalawa, tatlo lang din natutugtog namin. Ngayon, parang, mas gusto lang, na, ako personally, gusto ko lang maging masaya kami as a group. Kasi when you get older, siyempre, things get serious, and my family and everything. And the time away from the family, sometimes it's also sacrifice, diba? So, mm. might as well enjoy it while being uh, this time na medyo maganda yung nangyayari sa band. So, 
an album, a new album. It will be released under Sony Music Philippines, and then music videos. Kaso namin ikarir ng music videos. If if there's one thing about our music videos, hindi namin talaga siya pili isipan. Ngayon pili isipan na namin siya. Gusto na gusto ko lahat ng mga ng mga music videos namin mga bigating artista talaga mga Denzel Washington yung mga ganon. Yeah. Ganda mga nun. dramatic roles kami. Oh, you know? medyo pang Marvel. Oh. Yes. So, medyo pang Marvel. <laughs> Kunin ko si Christopher Nola. Yes. Exciting, <laughs> exciting. Yeah. Aabangan namin yung next music video nyo. <laughs> so, on that note, we have come down to your last song for the night. Ano kaya to? Ano kaya to, <laughs> guys? So, this one is... Sige, take it away na lang. But, yeah... Before you do, thank you for being of here. Of course, thank you also. For the third time. Hey. We love it Rappler. here. Uh, Rappler and everything that Rappler represents inspires me at least, personally. So, maraming salamat sa pag-imbita. Thank you for the support. And to everyone who's tuned in, thank you for tuning in. This is Mayonnaise with their song, Jopay. <laughs> Jopay, kamusta ka na? Palagi kitang pinapanood, nakikita. Jopay, pasensya ka na. Wala rin kasi akong mga usap kasama. Huwag ka nang mawala. Huwag ka nang mawala Huwag ka nang mawala Ngayon Dadalhin Sa aming pagdik tayo Aalis tayo Sa tunay na punto Dadalhin Sa aming pagdik tayo Aalis tayo sa tunay na mundo Jopay Kamusta na ba? Buti ka ba? Palagi kang masaya Jopay Buti na lang Nariyan ka Hindi na ako Nag-iisa Huwag ka nang mawala Huwag ka nang mawala O ngayon ay kailanman Dadalhin Kita sa aming pag-alit tayo Mag-aaway Aalis tayo Sa tunay na mundo Everybody sing 
dadalhin kita sa bahay yo a a e sa tunay na mundo Thank you, Rappler. Thank you. Sony, thank you. Yellow Room, thank you. Salamat, salamat.